This is the Sea Fly Dream version 2, which means that uh, it has now 4K photography, but still with the same 1080p video resolution. To give you an idea about the size of this drone, I'll use my sunglasses so that uh, you'll get some perspective. It is a little bit longer than my sunglasses, but it is not as wide. You'll see. Now you got the idea. Now I'll show you how to install and uninstall the battery. So this is the battery. To install it, you just put it here at the edge and uh, see Make sure it's really, really latched in so, so that it will not fall. And this is how to unlock the battery and pull it out and install it like this. See? And install it. And here is how you turn it on. So, what you do is one short press and one long press. Short, long. And uh, the LED lights will turn on. To turn it off, same thing, one short press, one long press, one, two. And there it is. So that's how you turn the drone off. Uh, this is the remote controller of uh, the Sealfly Dream. If you notice, there are buttons here and uh, the joysticks on the left hand side. The joystick is for upward and downward motion. And then to turn it left or to turn it right. And then this other side is the forward and backward a joystick for the drone forward backward and then sideways to the right and sideways to the left and of course here is the, the power button turn it off and on and here is the toggle with between uh, photo or video and in the side is uh, an up and down arrow. Uh, I haven't actually tried this one. It looks like uh, I'm not be using this. This one is for emergency landing. And here is the mode. And here is uh, the the adjustment. You adjust the video up and down when trying to. Uh, take pictures or record videos this is the antenna and this is where you put the cell phone that's uh, uh, the remote controller 
and the battery is built in. So I will show you how to calibrate uh, Seafly Dream. First you have to turn it on here. You have to press it twice, short and then long press. And you'll see the LED lights turned on. And then we'll go to the application. Then you have to press Then you have to press here And it will show you The indicator That says Calibration compass And that's what you'll press And then it will say calibrating Stay away from metal when calibrating. Takes taking time. There's metal here. Horizontal rotation, which is like this. And then turn drone change facing. Now, oh, what does it mean? <laughs> like this. So it says calibration success. So first, uh, you do the horizontal um, maneuver and then uh, you do the uh, vertical maneuver. Horizontal, vertical. And then it will say Calibration success, and then once it says calibration success, then just uh, press on OK and return, and you're done. That's how you calibrate the compass. So uh, uh, you have to calibrate first for flying, and once you cal calibrated this. Uh, you can fly it any time until such time that it will ask again uh, through the app for calibration. This is now calibrated, so it's just uh, uh, a matter of flying now. Say how it performs. Now it's ready to fly.
is windy today, but it's holding up there. It's holding up. Fly it higher. Yeah, the wind is really, really strong right now. Still flying. So we'll try to fly it forward. Sea flight dream, same as Hero X9P. The spark is a little bit better than the two of them uh, because of the features and uh, uh, the quality of the video and pictures but this is good enough although not professional enough in terms of its video and uh, photos pictures but this is good enough uh, because just like uh, DJI Spark it has a two-axis gimbal which uh, makes it stable it should take uh, smooth videos and uh, good pictures <laughs> 